This is Colleen Richardson with Bedford Community Television. And like most of you, I've been working at home during the stay at home order. And today I wanted to have a little fun and try something different, so I thought we'd make some crafts. I started thinking what would people probably have hanging around the house that they could use, and thought of toilet paper and paper towel rolls. So I looked up some ideas and we found three simple projects that we'll try today. The first one is this little fire breathing dragon. So to start with him, you need a piece of paper, and I didn't have green paper so I colored it, which is what you can do, but I did have orange, so I cut a piece of paper. Then you're going to use glue, glue stick, tape, staples, whatever works to attach the paper to the roll. And if you're gluing it, then I used some little clothespins to let it dry. The next step is to add his eyes and his nose. Now they used online these little pom-pom balls and little wiggly eyes, which I didn't have, so I had to think of something different. Again, I went to my recycle bin and came up with using the tops off of water bottles. So all I did is take the top, take a marker, draw the little dot for the eye, and then I had to come up with something for the nose because again, I didn't have the little pom-poms. So I used regular cotton balls and just colored them and then glued those on. So that was those steps. The next part is to put the fire in his mouth. And that is cray paper and tissue paper. So I did have some yellow and red cray paper and tissue paper and that's what we're gonna use. So you just take a little bit of masking tape or regular tape, whatever you have, and just individually Put a little piece of tape on the cray paper and place it in the mouth. And then just keep alternating it until you get all of this fire in there. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'll give you the link to all of these at the end of the program. Um, there, there was a bunch of different kinds of projects that you can do with the toilet paper and paper towel rolls. There was actually a lot that I found. Some were more involved than others. And I kind of just took what I saw and improvised with what I had. So you may notice that when you look at the instructions, I probably didn't follow it exactly because I'm just using what I have, which is just part of the fun. Just be creative and see what you can do with what you have hanging around the house. And so we get all of those in there. And kind of lopsided, but you get the idea. And then you make him blow fire. And there you go. So that's our fire breathing dragons. The next one that we're gonna do is a nice windsock. And again, pretty simple, but we're going to use uh, a uh, paper towel roll this time. You cut it to probably like two thirds of the length. Find a piece of paper again. Now for this one, you can have fun coloring the paper before you put it on the roll. And so to do that, you can use, again, whatever you have around the house, markers, crayons. I happen to have these cute little fob things that you use for a bingo and thought, why not use those and make some nice dots. So you're just going to put some dots on a piece of paper here. Nice and simple. I have two different colors, so we'll just try a couple of different colors. I had thought you could use wrapping paper, if you had some wrapping paper that you wanted to use, contact paper, anything that you think would be fun and colorful. And so I just kind of made some little dots on my paper. Again, we're going to just attach it. This time I took a piece of tape and taped the beginning like this get it started. I made my paper so that it would go around a little bit more. And then again, when I got to this part, I glued my sides there. 
I put my clips on and I let that dry. And I have another one already made here that we're going to use to finish the next steps. So I'll take my clips off here. So there's one that's already colored and glued. And the next step is to put a little pipe cleaner on it so that it will hang. Now if you don't have pipe cleaner, use some string, use a shoelace, just think what do you have that would be fun and that you could use and would serve the purpose. So that's, that's just how I do things. I improvise a lot. So I punched hole on either side, put this pipe cleaner through and just twist it. And then I'm going to do that on this side. Way of hanging it up, and then the soft part of it is actually again going to be some crepe paper that I had. So I have already cut some strips of crepe paper, and I found instead of taping them individually, it was easier to put them together and by end next to each other like this. And then I'm going to just put one big piece of masking tape over the top and then input it into the middle of the tube. You'll see what I'm saying here in a minute. So we're just going to keep adding some different colors so that we have a lot of nice variety on our windsock here. And that should be good there. And some masking tape. Just making like a band at the top. So I taped that like that. I'm going to do it on this side too. Just like that. And now I'm just going to See how big the inside of the tube is and make this so that it's the same size so that it can fit in there nice and easily. Okay, so then we have that. So then I'm going to take some more tape, just a little bit here and there, put it on the inside so that I can put it in here and secure it. And it's a little kind of tricky, but just do the best you can. You just want it so it's not going to fall out when the wind blows. So, just put in a piece of tape there. And put in another piece of tape on the other side. A little tricky, but that's the hardest part. And then you have it. There you go. Nice windsock. The third project that I came up with is this really pretty flower. And this is very easy. And you could make a whole bunch of them and make yourself a nice bouquet, but all you have to do is take a tube and paint it. I had some different paints here, but again, I didn't have green, so I had to just use my marker and crayons and color the green part. So you paint it, let it dry, then you take your scissors and you just make little cuts so that you're getting little rings. And so that's for the flower part and then the green is going to be for our leaves. So we're going to cut enough of these just to show you.
and you just take a skewer and what you're doing use a paper plate here is you're just going to shape this into a flower pattern and I found my glue gun to work good for this so then you just glue them all together you attach your skewer and then you attach your leaves to that and again just using the glue gun and then if you have like a button or a, a little I don't know like um, from a bracelet a bead or something then you use that for your center and then there you have it and I did put a pipe cleaner on it just because I had one but you don't have to if you wanted to make it green and maybe you had some ribbon you could wrap ribbon around it you could paint the skewer if you wanted to do that or you could just leave it plain so those are our crafts for the day I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna put the links at the end so you can have some um, places to go to get some ideas and then if you're looking for other ideas there's plenty out there so I hope you have fun and stay safe and look forward to seeing you next time